because a leader brings a change, brings a change in somebody's life. A leader is a model of changing, a model of developing, because if we want to change something, the change has to start with us. We have to be the one changing first, and then people will follow. So usually in schools, there are two types of teachers and managers. And um, in, um, the literature, you can actually find the X, teachers and managers, and the why teachers and managers. What's the difference? When somebody comes in school and says, you know, I have an idea, I think we should change this. There are mainly two types of teachers. The type of X teacher, which is okay, we're going to do no way. <laughs> or the type of Y teachers. Yes! That's the change we were waiting for. And the most important thing is first to believe in the change. If I can believe, I can actually do things different to obtain better results, then others will believe in me too. If I'm afraid, if I'm just telling people, do this, instead of actually doing it, they will feel it. Because leadership is not something uh, you can show like a piece of paper. It's something that is felt. And the most important thing in a leader's life, I think it has to be common sense. Common sense developed in terms of relationship, common sense developed in terms of communication, and most important, the empathy to every around. Because if somebody says, I cannot do something, ask yourself if you can do it. If you can do it, then maybe you can talk to that person and maybe you can help him or her guiding through the goal. If not, that means something it might be wrong. And sometimes we think about being someone the others look at with great respect. A position like that, it's not something you learn. A position like that, it's something you earn, firstly, with hard work. You don't find a leader 